In the intricate expanses of the Thorium mod, riddled with unpredictable obstacles, the thrower hones precision and agility in a deadly dance. Have you stepped into the role of the thrower class? If so, welcome to the exceptional thrower progression guide for Terraria's Thorium mod. This comprehensive guide scrutinizes the thrower class in granular detail, providing you with optimal loadouts for each stage and opponent the mod skillfully integrates into your adventure. The thrower class focuses only on survival and damage. The class's weapons inflict a specific type of damage called throwing damage, with accessories and armor augmenting the output of this damage, and generic damage buffs increasing it organically. Technique scrolls, which I'll reference in the loadouts, let the player perform special abilities, with a type dependent on the last technique scroll used. For example, Technique Shadow Dance lets you teleport to the location of your cursor. These make use of technique points which auto-regenerate when you do throwing damage. Non-consumable throwing weapons, for an example Gauss Flinger or Stalker's Snippers, will cause an exhaustion bar to fill up. When it's full, you get an exhaustion debuff for 20 seconds, meaning you have a minus 20 damage damage penalty to non-consumable throwing weapons, cutting them down until they do only one damage. Slaying an enemy with these types of weapons replenishes 10% of the maximum exhaustion value. The exhaustion cap goes up to 1200, which is a value which isn't actually shown, with items like the Canteen and Mermaid's Canteen increasing this exponentially. We want Thorium Armor with weapon choices Enchanted Knife, Cactus Needle, Thorium Dagger and Coral Caltrop. Our accessories are Hermes Boots, Cloud in a Bottle, Lucky Horseshoe, Wreath, Topaz Ring and Shark Tooth Necklace. Get set to slay the Grand Thunderbird boss fairly early on. We want to be utilising Flight Armor now. Weapon picks are Molten Knife, Aquite Knife, Sea Ninja Star and Blooming Shuriken. We're running Lightning Boots, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, Shield of Cthulhu, Wreath, Bone Grip and Guide to Expert Throwing. We have Hidden Blade or Smoke Bomb Technique. This phase's modded bosses include the Queen Jellyfish and the Viscount. For our armor here, we have the Bronze Set. Good weapon choices now being Embowelment and Light's Anguish, Gorse Flinger, Champion's God Hand and Granite Throwing Axe. We should now have Terra Spark Boots, change our Bone Grip out for Olympic Torch and introduce Magneto Grip in the next slot. We have the Sticky Explosive or Smoke Bomb Technique. As well as the normal vanilla boss list, you'll be facing against the Granite Energy Storm and the Bury Champion and the Star Scouter boss encounters during this phase. Coming up to the mechs, we'll have Fungus Armor or Plague Doctor gear by now. For weapons, think Hell Roller, Hot Pot, Titanium Ricochet or Adamantite Ricochet and the Cryo Fang. Terra Spark Boots, Frozen Wings, Shield of Cthulhu, Mermaid's Canteen, Beholder's Gaze and Guide to Export Throwing, Volume 2 is our loadout here. Our technique is Blood Lotus or Blinding Dash. Thorium has a few bosses in this segment, including the Borean Strider and Cosnix the Fallen Beholder. We now have Lich Armor by the end of this phase, with weapons in this phase being Soul Cleaver, Karn Venom, Spark Taser and Soul Bomb. Our technique is Blood Lotus or Cobra's Bite. Alongside the standard formation, we'll have a deviation to fight the Lich here. We'll want Shade Master Armor with Terra Knife, with Shade Kusa Regama, Shade Shuriken and Shade Kunai being weapon progressive picks. We'll now want Spooky Wings as well as Master Ninja Gear in our third slot, and Shinobi Sigil in our fourth slot, as well as an upgrade to Volume 3 of our Guide to Expert Throwing. We have Shadow Clone or Shadow Dance as a technique. Weapon choices here are Brine Fang, Dragon Fang, Cosmic Dagger and Soft Surf Sunderer. You should now have Fisher on Wings, change Shinobi Sigil out for Destroyer Emblem. Before the Lunatic Cultist, Abyssy on the Forgotten One is a Thorium boss as part of this progression phase. Leading up to Moon Lord, you should use Terrarium Armor if you can upgrade from Shade Master Gear. There are some really nice weapons in this phase. Star Eater, White Dwarf Cutter, Terrarium Ripple Knife and Brine Fang. For 
for our boots, we now have Terrarian Particle Sprinters and Terrarian Wings. Switch out our Crystal Scorpion for Ankh Shield. Our technique here is Last Dance or Shadow Dance. We're now rocking the White Dwarf Armor with Angel's End, Star Eater, White Dwarf Cutter and Terrarian Ripple Knife. Switch out the wings for the Celestial Starboard now. Get ready to face off against the Primordial's bosses towards the end of this phase. Good luck. Congratulations on reaching Endgame. You should now have Titan Armor and run it with Deity's Tray Fork, Tidal Wave, Angel's End and Star Eater. If you found this guide valuable, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this guide or any corrections or suggestions, please comment them below. Be sure to check out all my other Thorium and Calamity Mod class guides on my channel. Thanks for watching.